Welcome back. Now, for one night only, Tucson's first National Invitational Print Show presents a special event, Impressive. Catherine Gastelum and Mike Dominguez are here to tell us all about it. Thank you both so much for coming today. Thank you. And so, Mike, we're talking about this one night only special presentation. Tell me about what this event is about. It's a uh, national survey of the printmaking scene. We are having 35 prints uh, representing artists from all over the United States. That's so neat. So I love it. This is a national thing. I know we're talking on break. Some of the artists will be here. Some of them won't. But you've been having a lot of prints shipped to you. So for those of us who aren't necessarily in the art world, explain to us what a fine print is. Well, basically, there are two kinds of prints in the art world. There's original prints, which are called fine prints, which are made by artists. And then there's copy prints, usually copies of paintings. They're usually made on uh, color copy machines. And Nowadays, uh, in order to make ordinary copy prints more attractive to people, they get called limited edition or signed and numbered, transfer to canvas, and gicle, one of my favorite words, it means um, spray or a squirt in uh, French. That's the way uh, copy machines work. But original prints are totally different because they are not copies. And if you want to get the idea of original print, you need to ask the artist, what is your intent? And the artist wants to make a work of art on paper using a press and ink. And he doesn't want to make anything else. He doesn't want to make a watercolor or a painting. He wants to make a print. So the artist gets a uh, printing surface like a metal plate or a lithographic stone, prepares it for printing, inks it, puts a piece of paper down on the printing surface and cranks it through the press and voila, a an original print and they usually take advantage of the printing process to make a batch of prints and these are called an edition and every print in the edition is an original print and the art experts all agree these are multiple originals uh, the art experts like museum curators and art appraisers and the experts at uh, Sotheby's and Christie's and your art schools all say multiple originals. And they occur in nature too, like if you go into a field of uh, poppies, these are all real flowers, they're not imitations, but they all look alike and they're in a big batch, or, or a, 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 a litter of uh, Dalmatian puppies, they all look alike. And yet they're, not, they're not copies of dogs, they're all the real thing. Because Mother Nature did not intend to make artificial flowers or stuffed animals. Here, I have, happen to have a print with me, and uh, this is not a piece of art, but let's pretend that it's a piece of art because it happens to be an original engraving. Oh. And the artist in this case is the government, and the government yeah. <laughs> intended to make a whole bunch of these prints. Uh, it's a rather large edition. It's, there's about 11 billion of them right now <laughs> we, we in might, circulation. Yeah, we might have seen one or two. <laughs> but we, don't, we don't call these copies, do we? Right. No, no, we use them all the time. I do have a copy, though. This is a copy print, and this was made on an okay. office copy machine. Now, I could call this uh, a limited edition. I could sign and number it. I can call it a gicle. I can tell you that it was printed on the finest Italian paper using the rarest Japanese inks. <laughs> but that would not make this an original. Well, and Mike, and I know these are wonderful analogies. I saw some of the, the work that's going to be there. But Catherine, before we run out of time, I want to make sure everyone knows this is also going to benefit the community. Absolutely. Um, first of all, we're so excited. The Art Advisory Board is so excited to join Davis Dominguez Gallery. Um, our event is Impressive, which is an exclusive one night only event and an important fundraiser for the School of Art. So in addition to the 35 um, cutting edge artists, um, it's going to be a festive night. So we have live music by Masail Barraso Diaz, who is a classical guitarist. We'll have delicious hors d'oeuvres catered by Feast, along with wine and beverages. Um, we have a curated talk by the curators, a gallery talk by Andy and Catherine Polk. Um, and again, just a wonderful event. So well, we hope you join us. We're so excited that it's here in our community. We're going to make sure our viewers have all the information to get their tickets. And yes. of course, we're raising funds for a great cause. So I want Absolutely. to thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. And you can discover the power of contemporary printmaking at Impressive on October 17th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Davis Dominguez Gallery. For more information, you can call 621-1251 or visit uafoundation.org.